Okay, let's go get up our copy of um, Stoker Log. Um, here's the URL to get it. So we'll go Control and click. That don't work. I'll copy this into a browser. And there's the file. So let's save this file. Save. Okay, I already have it. Here it is right there. Take a look at our downloads. and it's installed. Okay, so everything should be online. Um, let's just give it a whirl here. Programs, Stoker Log. Now, I'm going to change the address to the address of our Stoker, which is 192.168.2. logging in right here and his status. It's using Telnet to log in. Okay, it found the stoker and it's logging. Um, I hooked up a couple of pit, pit probes to it just so you can see what's going on here. And here's a graph showing time versus temperature. And you can see there's a couple of uh, uh, charts going on. It tells me, let's see, fire pit, fan, meet one, and pit one. So let me take pit one here. I'm going to dump it, uh, put it in some hot water and find out what happens. You can see it start to climb right there. Big jump. So there you have it. You have Stoker Log working and you have all these nice things you can do. Set alarms, software alarms, and you can ramp up, ramp down. All sorts of cool features. So let's hit stop. And there you have it. So the next thing we're going to do is um, We'll be installing uh, we'll, um, this over a wireless network two different ways. One will be a wireless in the field at barbecue contest and wireless at home on my home network using a bridge. So stay tuned for that.